All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning here. Looking at a nice little 57 Chevy 210 post with Bel Air trim. Got an LS1 underneath the hood. You'll see more of that under the hood video here in a few moments, but we'll just do a little walk around in the car. Very, very nice uh, little body off restoration car. A lot of time spent on the undercarriage. I would call it a rotisserie restoration. There's a lot of uh, neat things on it. Got somebody loud going by here. It's a Patriot Blue. I would call the paint a uh, nice driver quality. A few little flaws here and there. Mechanically, this car is just awesome. The kind of car you can drive, take local shows, enjoy. I'm not going to point out every little flaw, but we will point out a few things that we see. Um, completed, I believe, in about 2004. Got about 44 or 4,500 miles on it. Take a look at my notes here. Excuse me, completed in 2007, 4,400 miles, got to like the chrome bullets here. Somebody's baby spent a lot of time on this a while ago. Small little lift spot here because of the trim, paint, lift. Great looking car from a short distance. Again, not perfect, but not, but nice. And priced accordingly. Noticed a few uh, thin areas of paint here in the sunlight, but you have to really look hard. I'm being super picky, but that's my job. A lot of guys that would uh, really enjoy a paint lot job like this themselves. It is nice. Something you can drive though, not afraid to drive. The interior in it is definitely all leather. It has a great leather smell. Uh, factory style bench seat. Polished billet dash trim here. The headliner itself is uh, also leather. Same material that's on the seat. Miscellaneous touch ups. There's a the touch up. Definitely a car that if you pull into the show, people are going to definitely notice you. Sweet sound to it. See a little bit of shrinkage here, and you, if you take a really good look, you can see where the leading was. It's typical right there. Little touch up marks along here. I suspect this car will sell fairly quickly. Powertrains like this are nice car you can drive 
Very straight. Little mark right there. Small little lift right there. All right, let's get in here. Again, all leather seating. Some areas to touch up here in the door jam. Zavin. Dash and the body uh, or garnish moldings are all body color. Very nice. Dakota Digital Dash. Kenwood Audio. Column shift with the correct uh, shift pattern for overdrive. Four, four shift points. Fire this girl up. Sounds nice. We're going to take it down the street, turn it around, and bring it back. Very nice. Tell she has four wheel disc brakes. I'm going to flip a Yui right here. See if I can do it while I got the camera in hand. Sorry to keep you on hold. Take a look underneath the hood here. What kind of power chain you guys want to see? It's got a 5.7 liter LS1 out of a 2000 Camaro with uh, low mileage. 605 power steering. Power disc brakes. That's a late model GM power steering pump. Very nicely done. Pardon the noise, seem to be a busy road today. Does have air conditioning underneath it here. Nice little condenser cover, aluminum, polished aluminum. 4L60E automatic overdrive. GM Bozzy rear diff. Compressor hung real down low there. AC compressor, smooth firewall, we're thinking you get it, just hang on to the end of the video here, we'll definitely take you into undercarriage and uh, more interior and stuff like that, spudsgarage.com, Spuds Garage YouTube, All right. Spuds, take a look at the trunk here. Equal quality inside of the car, which is very nice. Batteries behind the rear panel there. Let's take a look at the undercarriage here. 
very nice uh, rotisserie body off restoration on this car. Completed in 07. About 4,400 miles. It does have four wheel disc brakes. She's pretty healthy, too, I'll tell you that. Fronts are 225 50R 17s, American Ration, polished. Drilled slotted rotors with GM calipers on the front. Does have power steering. Flowmaster exhaust system. Take a look at those floor pins. Nice as the top of the car. There's heat shields on the Flowmasters. Very, very, very clean. Notice it's got the uh, springs moved inboard in the center of the frame rail, which allows a much bigger tire. Speaking of bigger tires, it's got 275 50R17s on the back and GM uh, four disc, uh, rear disc with drilled slotted rotors. Missed a little spot right there. GM Positrack rear differential. Finish just as nice there. Getting to the end of the video here, you definitely want to go to spudsgarage.com and look at still photos. We'll have plenty for you.